described as a drug development problem solver. Can you tell me a little bit about how big data relates to your work? Problem solving comes from the fact that there's a lot of uh, data that is published in research, but in order to, run, to transition research into actual uh, application in the field, it takes a different mindset, and that's, that's what I, I spend most of my time thinking about and applying myself. So what are the biggest gaps? Why, why is there such a gap between this data science and actually bringing it into practice? Um, when you think about research and publication, most people have really focused on describing uh, problems, and we'll be talking about the, the problem around child growth and development uh, in a second, I hope. Um, but when you actually start thinking about application, you need to worry about um, the variance structure or how, how things vary over time. So a child in uh, Seattle is uh, similar in some ways to a child in Harare, Zimbabwe but they're also quite different because of the exposures that, they, uh, that surround them. So uh, trying to put information on top um, of uh, vari variation on top of uh, known um, signatures in, in biology as mm -hmm. well as in, uh, in exposures to the environment is... Can you talk a little bit about how that relates to your work with child health? Oh, yes, um, let's put this into perspective. If you take 10 kids yeah. from here in the Bay Area uh, and compare them to 10 children from uh, uh, Malawi, mm -hmm. the similarity between those two groups is actually very high. Yeah, I would think so. But if you look at the similarity within each of those groups, it's actually very different. So um, those, uh, the, the differences between two very uh, distinct groups is actually very small but the differences within that same group is, is extremely high. So what we're trying to understand is what, is, what are the drivers for, for mm. that variation? Uh, so for example, is, like genetic versus environmental? Absolutely. Okay. So even uh, understanding uh, the trajectory of when does genetic uh, uh, influence start waning down and envir right. environmental starts becoming a, a much bigger role. And though that time signature is very different depending on uh, where the child is, is being raised, mm. how they're being raised, and who's actually taking care of them. And that's what we're trying to understand. That's wonderful. I spent actually uh, quite a bit of time in Malawi doing research on pediatric malnutrition. So you're definitely speaking something very close to my heart. Oh, very good. So you can help me with some of the answers. Then. Absolutely. Anytime. Right. Can you just describe what's on your shirt here? What does this mean? I'm a data symbiont. Is that what that is? S symbiont. Most recently, uh, in the New England Journal of Medicine, there was an article around uh, data parasites, which are people like, essentially like me, who come in, <laughs> You're a parasite. who collect a lot of information and okay. try to reanalyze it, uh, not worrying about publication, but actually thinking about transitioning in information from uh, single uh, individual studies into mm. global pictures that help us figure out how to mm. uh, take care of, of children much better. So. I'm, I'm not a parasite, I'm a symbiont because we, we, we do this data integration in a very respectful fashion okay. and we also work very closely with the people who are uh, excellent at measuring yeah. and combine them with people who are excellent at, at data analysis. And, and we think that that's the way that we're going to solve these, these big problems. It's like a super meta-analysis. Meta-analysis is not necessarily a good term. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, but we, we, we think that by, by integrating all these data sets, you start identifying children who are at the extremes of the distribution, okay. which you wouldn't otherwise be able to identify in, in standalone studies. And those are the children who are most vulnerable and, and we need to focus on. And you can only um, get enough information when you combine all these data sets uh, together. So we are working on big data, not because we want to work on big data, but that's, this is the only way we can define those extremes of the distribution. A means to an end. Absolutely. Wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me today. It was great to meet you. Thank you. Very nice to meet you.